Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you, Capricorn? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing marvelous. Let's get into your reading and see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of December 2020. Before we get into your reading, I apologize if you guys hear noise in the background. I live by the mountains and it is like so windy right now. Um, so I apologize for that. Okay, let's get into your reading Capricorn. Now when shuffling the cards, the Ten of Pentacles came out. Um, so I felt very pulled towards this card and I feel that for a lot of you guys, financial stability is coming through. I think that this month of December is going to be momentum when we're talking about business and finances. Now, your next card here is the Knight of Cups, stability coming in in regards to love and romance. You have the Page of Pentacles, communication, perhaps communication you've been expecting or waiting on. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you're coming up in your own rating, Capricorn. I see you guys being very, very much into your own power. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, I feel that you've been on a journey, Capricorn, and it's been an extremely difficult journey for some of you guys the past three years. Um, but we're finally coming to its conclusion. Whatever work or heart determination and effort that you've been putting, uh, when it comes to your finances and when it comes to your business or when it comes to uh, work or money related, uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, they're telling you you're coming to its conclusion. Um, the hard work and determination is finally going to be paying off for you guys. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, I feel that you guys are going to be feeling very blessed. Um, you're going to be feeling, uh, you know, just very grateful and thankful. Um, now, the Page of Pentacles here is a representation of communication coming in for you for some of you guys you may be dealing with earth energy another capricorn a taurus a virgo um, for others of you water energy pisces cancer scorpio um, but i feel that this has more to do with you capricorn uh, the knight of cups is a representation of um, communication in regards to love and romance uh, and this could have been a situation where there hasn't been or there's been some type of lack of communication with the page of pentacles but that message is coming it's finally coming through and it's coming through uh if you guys see this this page is holding a pentacle and they're looking directly at the pentacle almost like i feel that this is a, another person's energy this is not your energy capricorn i feel that this is how the person of your interest or the person that you're dealing with how they see you how they view you and they see you as an individual or as a person of value they see you as someone that they want to behold or that they want to attain um and it's been a long journey so for some of you guys you may be dealing with the situation where uh there was some type of connection or you were dealing with an individual and for some reason uh, you definitely felt the connection. It was very strong. Uh, but for some reason, there was like a halt or a stop to the communication. And I feel that on both sides, you both kind of were like, what's going on? Why aren't they communicating? And the more it progressed, the more awkward it became. Um, because you're here as the queen of pentacles and you're also holding your pentacle. So it's like you guys both see value in each other. Um, but yet, because it is earth energy, it's almost like at a standstill, I feel. Uh, so if you're dealing with a situation similar to this, I do see that in this month of December, communication finally opens up. And this could be them coming to you uh, with a love offering or being completely honest about their feelings for you. Um, now, what they're telling me here as well is with the Ten of Pentacles, I feel that you guys are coming to an ending cycle of either struggle, like I said, the past three years, you guys have been really tested and trialed, um, and you've overcome obstacle after obstacle, and, and what they're showing here is the blessings that are going to be coming your way, Capricorn, that are really going to, I feel that you guys are taking it to the next level, so for some of you guys, this could be um, getting an opportunity at work to step up or go up the up the ladder 
or take on more responsibility, uh, which definitely is going to bring to you more income. Now, why others of you, I feel that with this Ten of Pentacles, if you guys really see it closely, it's almost like um, it's kind of like a key. If you guys can see that there. And I, it's really standing out to me. And it's almost like it's a key. And then there's a pathway towards a castle. So for some of you guys, this could represent unlocking the abundance that you've been looking for. Or unlocking um, the next cycle in your life where hard effort and determination is not really going to be that necessary it's almost like what they're telling me is you've put in the hard work you've put in um the effort and it's almost like the universe is going to be bringing to you opportunities that is going to be like you're going to sit back and be like it's i can't believe it's this easy um but what they're telling me, it's not easy. Like, you've earned this Capricorn. So, again, a lot of bountiful type of energy opportunities in regards to finances. Money increasing. For some of you guys, this could be unexpected money coming in. Um, with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, like I said, it didn't come easy because you've been tested. Um, now, for others of you, what they're saying here is it's almost like with the Knight of Cups, I feel that Capricorns are often misunderstood, um, and I think that, you know, a lot of people feel like Capricorns are not that intense or they're not that passionate. Um, truth of the matter is Capricorns, in order for you guys to be passionate and intense, it has to be about something you really care for. And I think that Capricorn is uh, one of the signs that is very connected to, um, you know, what you do, whatever it is that you do for a living it's like you have to be very passionate and intense about it uh, in order for you to really like be so focused in achieving certain things in your life. And I feel that with the Ten of Pentacles, this can also represent the home life uh, from early childhood. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, it's almost like the difficulties in life have not, <clears throat> they have not hindered you to the point of becoming so closed off. If anything, it's prepared you. It's prepared you because <clears throat> the Knight of Cups here is in armor, right? But water is emotion. So you're very connected um, to your emotions or to the desires of your emotions. And with the Page of Pentacles, it's been a long and strenuous road. It's been difficult for you. Nonetheless, everything that you have gone through is a blessing in disguise because it's prepared you to the pivotal moment that you're about to enter in your life where it seems like i said almost like you don't have to try or work as hard in order to receive the blessings because you've already done that you've already gone through those hardships and um with the queen of pentacles here it's a representation of your energy you're very grounded you have uh you're being able to truly appreciate uh the blessings that you have and perhaps even take on challenges where others may lack even people around you uh may lack it's like the more blessings that are bestowed upon you the more you have a tendency of doing for other people so again very beautiful type of energy very reciprocated type of energy and for those of you guys that are single like i said i definitely do see love coming in for you and what they're showing me here is, uh, for some of you guys, it could be it's been a long road of singlehood for some of you. Like, um, you've been so focused or consumed with work, uh, but love is finally coming in. It's knocking in your door with the Ten of Pentacles, and it's something that is going to be long-lasting. So for some of you guys, um, you may actually be dealing with the person that has a child. Um, <clears throat> you may be dealing with a person... Um, for those of you guys that are single, you may be dealing with the person that comes into your life. They may be, uh, it is a general reading, so they're telling me they may be younger, while others of you, uh, they could be older and you're the younger one. It is a general reading, like I said, but I feel that this person has either, either they have one child or they have children, um, but I feel that they're very, like, they're coming in very strongly and they're, like, 
not messing around. They know exactly who they want and what they want, and it's you, Capricorn. Uh, so very beautiful reading. All right, let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you for this month of December 2020. Spirits, what is the direct message you want to share with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. And we, draw, and we have here, drop the fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Capricorns. <laughs> okay, so what they're telling me here is, for those of you guys that are single, um, if you were dealing with a person where communication was lacking, like I said, um, and they finally come through and they reach out, perhaps not as, like they don't reach out the way you would expect them to, bring your guard down, okay? Be reciprocal to that message because I feel that it's like they're really thinking hard about how to contact you. And sometimes it doesn't come easy and you should know this Capricorn. Sometimes it's not easy. It doesn't come easy um, to express your emotions. You should know this. Uh, so don't be very judgmental in the way they communicate. Just reciprocate the message. Uh, if you felt uh, a little bit hurt or butthurt that they weren't communicating with you, let that shit go, okay? It's okay to be vulnerable sometimes. It's okay uh, to acknowledge that we feel some type of way, especially when you don't have control over the situation, Capricorn. Um, so again, drop the ego. Uh, don't allow your ego to run um, or to hinder the possibility of connecting with an individual that has genuine intentions or feelings towards you, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I wish you guys happy holidays, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.